say, look at here. My baby jumped up this morning, sat on the side of the bed. He said, I'm leaving you, Miss Donay. This is just what I said. I said, I can't make you stay if you want to go. But it's high time, baby, that you should know. Oh, monkey, don't stop, no show. Oh, monkey, don't stop, no show. So if you still want to go, go ahead. And I mean every word I said. <laughs> My baby thought I was jiving. And he walked right out the door. Me about three in the morning. I had me a man at four. Just leave your money on my dresser before you go. Cause I found out something a long time ago. One monkey don't stop no show. One monkey don't stop no show. So if he gets too big for his pants. Bring that new one and give him a chance. Now, I love this. This is one of my favorites on the on the album. Yeah, I've always liked that. It's like a crowd pleaser, you know. Whenever we play, it seems like people love it. My audience went crazy over this song every time we did it in the clubs. This is one of those, um, you know, women not being a victim songs and women going, well, you know what? See you later. There's always plenty of fruit on the tree that we can go find. I'm okay. Without you, monkey. Uh, the title says it's all. I mean, it just is, you know. Fun, uh, swanky, and sultry. You know, it's like, hey, buddy, you split. Who needs you? <laughs> Fuck off. <laughs> you know what? There's other fish in the sea. There's uh, there's un other monkeys in the show here. <laughs> you're not the only. You're not the only monkey in the show. I can get along without you. Well, there's Roberta in your face. <laughs> Brazen, sassy. She sings this great. It's a perfect track for her. Um, it's a nice, tight, simple arrangement. What I like about this song, the fun of it is that it's a song kind of within a song because you have somebody kind of narrating the song within the, within the lyrics. He walked right out the door. He left me about three in the morning. I had me a man at four. That's it. That's, that says it all. I think with this track, I probably kept closer to the original than I did on any other track. Um, and it's because some of the riffs are so great, I didn't even think they should be tampered with. The piano part, da 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 I mean, I'm not going to write a better piano part for that. So that's, yeah, that's, for me, that's something where I have to play. And be, just be really careful not to play anything that's completely wrong. But it sounds good, though. It's, it's a great arrangement. Your boyfriend or girlfriend's leaving the house and you're, you're kind of throwing their things out behind them, you know? As, as they're walking out the door, you're throwing their, their items, you know? It kind of has that kind of sense of the drumming, kind of kicking it out a little bit, you know? Oh, this is, I know, oh, okay, this is, uh... Yeah, I know who wrote this. Jimmy Pickles uh, Benson wrote this one. He was, it was his only song. He was a um, graduate of MIT. And, uh, <clears throat> you know, he, he, uh, he wrote it on, uh, on dental floss. He, he used to strum, he had two, he was taking some dental floss, you know, and he, uh, sort of like a, an instrument, one string instrument, and then he wrote, I know, I know he wrote this for me. He was also a fan. He was, he studied animal husbandry, and uh, he was a zoologist, you know. Uh, his wife, actually, was uh, was half monkey, actually, so. It really, it was a, a, a sort of a, 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 I mean, people came from all over to see this half monkey woman. The man, he was always in trouble. He was always getting in a pickle. So, you know, they called him pickles. They'd book, you know, he'd have to go bail him out. 